Live, what's happening right now from RTV6, the Indy Channel. And right now at 6 o'clock, we're learning more details about the three-year-old boy who died after he shot himself in the head. Police say it happened after a, he found a loaded gun in his home. RTV6 reporter Chris Prophet is now live with the very latest developments in a tragic case the police say they see way too often. Chris? Yeah, Drew, and that uh, three-year-old child was brought here at Riley Hospital for Children last night in critical condition and died just a few hours later, an accident that police say tragically could have been prevented. On Sunday, the streets in this quiet north side neighborhood were just hours earlier. A child accidentally shot himself in the house are nearly deserted. Neighbors declined to talk about what happened, but this is what we do know. The child shot himself in the house in the 1800 block of East 68th Street around 6 Saturday evening. Police say that both parents were home at the time along with the boy's four-year-old sister. The child was taken to a hospital in critical condition and died five hours later. You know, I've seen him grow, grow up and start walking and start talking and just start saying different things. Now, I've got six grandkids, their age and older and younger, and it's just, I, I just can't understand it. On Sunday, an IMPD spokesman reiterated detectives' beliefs that the child accidentally shot himself after pulling the gun off a kitchen counter but added that the investigation is ongoing. Police also weren't releasing the parents or victim's name, and it's unclear who owns the handgun. Accidental shootings among children are all too common, according to police. A federal study of unintentional shootings finds that 8% of those deaths resulted from shots fired by children under the age of 6. If there is any sort of thing that we can learn from this, that... Um, uh, don't leave any type of weapons unattended in your home because these sorts of things happen. Another gun accident with a deadly result, with police still sorting out why it happened. And not much information in the case was released by police today other than that the child would uh, have an autopsy. There would be one conducted tomorrow and that the Marion County Prosecutor's Office will review the case through. Reporting live downtown, Chris Profit, RTV6.